Kayajin. Sample to Insight. Hello, my name is Dominic O'Neill. I'm Associate Director of DNA Product Development here at Kyogen. Today I'd like to present to you the Kyamp Fast DNA Tissue Kit, um, a newly developed kit using some newly developed bead tissue lysing tubes, um, which we have developed in order to maximize the yield that you can achieve from tissue samples while minimizing the amount of time required. Um, and that's what I would like to present to you today. Um, the new aspect of this kit, um, Kyogen obviously already has DNA extraction kits for tissue, um, and we've developed a second generation using this here. This is a uh, bead lysis tube um, using an irregularly shaped um, stainless steel ball cone bead um, in order to uh, do the physical disruption of sample and make it accessible for the proteinase K digestion as well as the chaotropic lysis of the cytosine ball. Um, We've combined that with the classic Kyogen bind wash elute method um, in order to give you a efficient and uh, fast method of extracting DNA from sample, even from the most difficult sample types that we could find. Um, and what we found was actually very surprising. When we um, went into the, the chemistry of the kit and took it apart and combined it with mechanical disruption, um, we found a really dramatic synergistic effect of combining these three disruption methods. Um, and this is some of the data that I would like to show you. So what we found here is that the combination tissue lysis gives us a very rapid and high yield DNA extraction. Here are four different tissue types shown. This is kidney, liver, lung, and mouse tail. Um, so to some degree from easiest to most difficult sample to lyse. Um, these are all RNA later stabilized samples, so they're dehydrated and tougher than normal. Um, and we compared our combination method with either only doing enzymatic lysis, with doing only mechanical lysis, or with doing a unoptimized combination lysis from other methods that have been known in the field. Um, and on each of these graphs, what we have is we have yield on the y-axis and time in reverse order on the x-axis. So in both cases, improved performance can be seen in the upper right quadrant of the chart. Um, the blue is our new combination method using the Kaya-Amp Fast DNA Tissue Kit. Um, and you can see here we have dramatically higher yields than any of the other methods with some of the most minimal times available. Um, what's notable is for all samples, if you do enzymatic lysis only, so if you're really only looking at possibly having some uh, chaotropic solution plus proteinase K, um, you have low yields, generally microgram, single digit microgram levels of yield, um, and quite long times, uh, often overnight, at the, but at least four hours of digestion required. Um, and so it's suboptimal for both axes here. Now, if you add mechanical digestion um, using a standard five millimeter stainless steel bead, uh, for example, which is often used, you can decrease your time but you don't increase your yield significantly. These are the red dots here. In each case, the time goes down um, pretty dramatically, but you don't see a better um, improvement in yield. Um, and then there are some methods which try to combine the two, both uh, enzymatic and mechanical digest digestion, um, and those are a little bit better. They form a compromise between reduced time and improved yield. Um, but none of them come close to the improvement that we get using the new lysis tube and the optimized um, chemistry that we have developed for this kit. And then over here we can see when testing it across multiple different sample types, including very difficult sample types, we can see the scale of the improvement that we can get. Um, so here you can see we've looked at heart, spleen, brain, esophagus, trachea, ear, um, a pure fat sample, a tail, and all another ear sample. So some of these are quite difficult, quite cartilaginous, um, difficult to lyse samples. In yellow is the pure enzymatic homogenization, and in the blue is looking at our new Kaya M Fast DNA tissue homogenization using either a standard benchtop vortexer um, or the two tissue homogenizers um, instruments from Kaya, the tissue lyser uh, 2 and the tissue lyser LT. 
You can see that it looks comparable using the vortexer or the tissue lysers, and in all cases, dramatically better than using the enzymatic lysis alone. Um, to normalize the differences between the sample type yield, the y-axis here is in log scale, um, and so the difference here is often a tenfold or greater difference in yield that we're getting through our new method. Um, and so that gives you an idea of the dramatic improvement in yield that we can get. Um, as I said already here, the time is very, very short. Um, and one of the more surprising findings with this is that by optimizing all of these methods together, um, we not only got this short time of lysis and the improvement in yield, but we actually also increased the uh, quality of the DNA that we retrieve from it. We're more gentle with the DNA, um, despite the fact that we're adding in a mechanical lysis. And you can see that down here on the gel samples. Um, we looked here, again, these are the same methods that we used here, a purely mechanical lysis, an enzymatic lysis, or an other known mechanical and enzymatic lysis. And here you have um, a gel showing the DNA uh, integrity. And you can see for the mechanical and enzymatic lysis, we're running around 20 KB samples coming off of it. For the existing mechanical uh, combination method, um, it's a bit worse. And then using the Chi-Am Fast DNA tissue kit with this new optimized method, you can see a dramatic improvement in DNA quality um, coming off of the extraction method. And that's due to the fact that we can um, find the sweet spot of synergy between the, the mechanical and enzymatic and chemical lysis so that not any one of them is too harsh. While if you're doing a pure mechanical lysis, if the mechanical lysis is doing all the beat, you end up with mechanical shearing of your DNA. Um, likewise for the other two, you have to dial it up to such a degree that you don't get a um, high quality DNA coming out of it. And you can see that this holds true whether we're looking at kidney or lung um, or even mouse tail. We get excellent quality DNA out of this new method. Um, so in conclusion, um, we have developed a new combination method um, which finds a sweet spot of synergy between all existing homogenization methods which enables you to achieve tenfold or greater yields out of your tissue samples, um, and in many cases with also tenfold reductions in time from overnight to um, no more than five or ten minutes on a vortexer.